Hey folks, welcome back. In this short video, I'm going to show you how I use the Polls tool in Zoom. So I think the Polls tool is pretty handy. Like you could do complicated things with it, like set up quizzes or tests. But my favorite way to do it is to just increase a little bit of engagement and use it as a check-in question. Though it is kind of fun to also test understanding with it by adding some questions in that you can bring up during class to kind of see if folks are getting it or not. And then you can obviously explain and lecture more if you need to. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to set up a, a basic poll. So from a active Zoom session, you can log in and go ahead and down at the bottom, look for the polls button. Sometimes it shows up in the more section, but most of the time right here at the bottom. This will bring up this window and all you need to do is click add a question. This launches a website and it'll bring you in here to go ahead and set up the polls. So we're just gonna call this check in question. And I'm gonna go ahead and come up with a poll question to use today. So just for an example here, we'll throw this, would you rather question in, would you rather have your shirts be two sizes too big or have all of them be one size too small? Uh, since this kind of works as a multiple choice question, I'm just going to go ahead and put in the two options into the two answers here and go ahead and click the save. You can add additional questions. So if you want students to answer multiple questions at one time, you can do that. And then obviously you can have sets of uh, questions if that's what you want to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save there. And now it is saved in for this meeting. And so when I go back to here, if I was to close this and bring polling back up, now it shows up the question. And all I have to do to show this to my students is click launch polling. And then they have the ability to go ahead and take it. When you're done, you can end polling and you can click this button to share the results if you want the students to go ahead and see the results. So that is polling in a nutshell. Uh, one of the things I like about polling is you can set this up before time. So if you want to come in and set your polls up a couple days before your class session meets, you can do that and they'll remain static. Not everything's that way in Zoom. Breakout rooms are only good for one session, but polls, you can set them up and as long as you're in the same meeting, they'll show up every time. All right, well, that is polls in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.